Hello students. So let's try to solve uh, one more problem from CSIR net 2023. And this exam was held on a date of 8 June. And uh, this is one of the very wonderful and very conceptual problem. And uh, I can say this is the most toughest problem for this particular paper. And this is from the scattering. But uh, fortunately, these all things we have discussed in our class. Anyone can see our video of the scattering. And we have discussed all the concept there. Anyway, so let's try to solve this problem. Obviously, this is little bit uh, calculation is involved, concept is involved, everything is given there, but analysis is wonderful. And the calculation is very methodical actually, unless until you don't have a, a very insight of this particular problem, you cannot solve it. Anyway, so let's try to solve this particular problem. So in this problem, this is a, we have to talk about uh, Basically, what is the graph between differential scattering cross section versus polar angle theta? We have to just see which graph is the uh, appropriate one by the giving fact. And what is this fact? Only two modes are evolved for L is equal to 1 and L is equal to 0. And this is given delta naught, that is uh, basically phase difference out of the phase is given at 12 degree and this is for 4 degree for L is equal to 1. So you know all this, the effect of uh, L, uh, angular momentum, quantum number for scattering. We all know this concept. So how will we will approach it? So first uh, we have to go for uh, writing a differential, the expression of differential scattering cross section and uh, that thing is, so differential scattering cross section d theta is basically mod f theta whole square. So the whole idea is how we will write first f theta. So we all know from the partial wave analysis, the value of f theta, so we are, we have to use all this stuff, that is value of 1 upon k summation over 2l plus 1 e to the power i delta l and that value is sine delta l and this is your pl cos theta and obviously these are the phase related to each and every l so you have to just go and summation over partially to each and every phase thing which is going to superimpose and uh, L will obviously going to 0 to 1 to infinity, but here only these two modes are active. So this is a good thing. And what is PL cos theta? This is nothing but the legendary polynomial. So we all know this exercise. And K is associated with the energy. So in this problem, this had not any role because this will be some constant energy. You are just going to interact with any potential and you will have this phase, this F theta. Now we have to calculate this mod f theta square. So what is meaning of that? Meaning of that we have to just go for f star theta f theta. Now here is the catch. If we are going to write f star into f, then we have to use two indices, not one indices. Because when you will go for summation, then 0, 0 term will be there. 1, 1 term will be there, 1, 0 term will be there, 0, 1 term will be there. This can be only achieved by using the two indices. So what will be my f star theta? So we have f star theta is all about 1 upon k summation over 2 L dash plus 1 e to the power i delta L dash and we have sin delta L dash and that value is PL dash cos theta. And what will be my mod f theta square? So this mod f theta square is 1 upon k square. And you can take mod k square if you are taking some imaginary. So this will be mod k square. And we have summation over, there are two summation. One is L dash, another is L. And this value is 2 L dash plus 1. So first I am writing for L dash, then L. And this value is 2L plus 1, this into this, then this into this. So this will be e to the power minus i delta L dash, because it is conjugate, I am taking it. So this will be minus actually. And we have 
e to the power i delta l and then we have sine delta l dash we have sine delta l and then we have p l dash cos theta we have p l cos theta wow it's a wonderful long expression but we have to only go for the two indices so let's go for and i am just for the simple calc for simplicity i can just put k is equal to one because energy has not any role into this particular problem so i will just put k is equal to one unnecessary we have not take care of this unnecessary variable so let's try to go for this so first thing is first will be l dash is equal to zero and l is equal to zero so this will be one this will be zero so this will be minus i delta 0 plus i delta 0 so this will be 1 this term will survive and this term will survive so what will happen the first term will be sine square delta naught and we have p naught cos theta square so this is my first term so i am just talking about d theta here what is the differential scattering cross section let's go for second one the second one is L is equal to 1 and L dash is equal to 1. So that will be, this will be 3 and this will be 3. So we have 9. Again, this will be L dash is equal to 1. This is equal to 1. So this will cancel out. So this has not any role. This will have role. So this has sine square delta 1 and we have P1 cos theta whole square. Now, here you have to be very much careful. You have two term. The first term will be L dash is equal to 0 and L is equal to 1 cross term. And then second term is L dash is equal to 1, L is equal to 0. So let's try to go for this. When L dash is equal to 0, L is equal to 1. So this term will be 3. L dash is equal to 0, L is equal to 1. So that value is equal to e to the power i delta 1 minus delta 0 and then this term so we have sine delta 1 sine sorry sine delta 0 and sine delta 1 and p1 p0 cos theta p0 cos sorry p1 cos theta i am taking this one p1 cos theta and we have p0 cos theta so this is one term. Another term will be L dash is equal to 0 and L is equal to 1. So again, this term will become here. And this is 3. And you have L dash is equal to 1. So this will be, I can write this whole time. I am just taking minus sign outside. And this will be delta 1 minus delta 0. And again, we have P0 cos theta and P1 cos theta. So this is my expression. Now we have to just uh, make it simplify. So once we will, so I will just going to remove all this part. So we have to just make it simplify. So when we are going to make it simplify, then we have a uh, d theta and this d theta is equal to sine square delta naught this value is equal to 1 plus 9 sine square delta 1 and this value is equal to cos square theta and you can take this particular value 1 and 0 is there so 1 and sine delta 1 and sine delta 0 so this value is sine delta 1 and sine delta 0 and also we have sine delta 0 sine delta 1. So what we can take, we can take all this term common and this value is equal to 3 and P1 cos theta is cos theta. So we can take cos theta common and we have sine delta naught sine delta 1 and we have uh, interesting thing e to the power i delta 1 minus i delta naught plus e to the power minus i delta 1 minus delta naught. 
So this is our thing. Now, this thing can be easily written in form of cos theta by multiplying two. So next step, we have to just go for this. So this will be sine square delta naught plus nine sine square delta one. And we have cos square theta plus three. And this will be six. Instead, we can write cos theta sine delta naught sine delta 1 and this value is equal to cos delta 1 minus delta naught. So this is my thing. Now we have to put delta naught is equal to 12 and delta 1 is equal to 4 in this particular thing. So when we will put it here, that value is equal to sine square 12 plus 9 sine square 4 and this is in the degree we have cos square theta plus 6 cos theta sine 12 sine 4 and that will be cos minus 8 or cos 8 that will be the same thing. So we have to just check what is the value of sine 12 sine. So I have already calculated these all thing. So we can use calculator or you can just uh, from here calculator is needed. So you have to use there. Otherwise, it is a very problematic. But yes, this is a very general a general calculation here you can go for. So what we have, we have basically sine 12 is equal to sine 12 is equal to we have 0 0.2 0 0.2. We have sine 4 is equal to 0 0.07 actually and cos 8 is equal to approximately 0 0.99 so you can and obviously you can just approximate this will be near about 0 this will be bigger you can just approximate this kind of thing anyway so but i am calculating it completely so once we will calculate it completely then I get uh, the final thing. The final thing is uh, very interesting. So let me check uh, this particular thing. So that value is equal to 0 0.04 plus 9. And that value is equal to into 0 0.04. 4, 9 and uh, cos square theta plus uh, 6 cos theta we have sine 12 is equal to 0 0.2 into we have sine 4 is equal to 0 0.07 into 0 0.099 so this is the value we have to just going to calculate. So once we will just calculate all this value, then we can find the final answer. So let's go for calculation of this one and then we can easily find the final answer. So this particular value is so 0 0.04 and this value you can easily calculate that is 0 0.044 cos square theta and uh, this particular value you can easily calculate that value is 0 0.08 cos theta so this is the calculation now we have to go for analysis so unless until you are not getting this one you cannot see the graph so it's a very interesting when we have theta is equal to 0 degree then we have to add all this thing and you will get some particular number. So it's a very interesting. And when you will get theta is equal to pi by 2. So theta is equal to pi by 2. And this value is 0. And this value is 0. And this is going to almost 0. This value will only going to survive. So for theta is equal to pi by 2, only this value is going to survive. And uh, when you will go for the theta is equal to pi, then this value will be 1, but this value will be 
minus 1 and when you will going to calculate this one when you are going to calculate this particular thing then you will find that this value will be approximately going to 0 this value is 1 this value 0 0.04 so 0 0.04 plus 0 0.08 minus 0 0.08 is almost going to 0 and similarly you can find the value of theta is equal to pi by 4 so once you will find all this thing then what you will get you will get you will start from 0 and it will and this here is pi and here is your pi by 2 so you have to and here is 0 and what will happen it will just going something like this so you have to just check with this all thing but in this particular examination it is if calculator is not given then it is very difficult to calculate all these things so this is all about d theta versus theta so you can just easily calculate this particular thing so only two and three point you have to calculate and then but the thing is that how you will get sine 12 and how you will get all this thing so it is really difficult thing but in general in general when you will go for the theory of differential uh, theory of partial wave analysis and for any particular value of theta in general what you will see you will see the basic nature of d theta versus theta initially it will go down up to pi and again it will open up and again it will just something like this so this type of trend is also there so if you know this type of this curve and this curve is very well explained into jetly in one particular problem and here is all about your pi so l is equal to 1 l is equal to 2 tak ke liye kya hoga fir 3 ke liye kya hoga when you will go for higher and higher level of l then this thing will be there and you have another maxima another maxima you have something like a scattering a pattern of this particular thing so if you have this particular type of knowledge then straightforward you can give this particular thing so up to this only l is equal to 1 is going to activate so why this answer is there but what I have done, I have completely solved this problem. But if you know this particular experimental result, then obviously you can give the answer in a just a quick second. But here I have solved it completely. And if you have access of calculator, then this problem can be easily solved. But otherwise, this problem cannot be solved unless until you don't know this pattern and this basic thing. Thank you.